Hi. So I'm Josh Keller from Irvington, New York. This is my 1948 Hudson Commodore, so come take a look at it. I've had it for three years. Uh, what I love all Hudsons, but especially the 1948, because this was the first year of the step-downs, which was the first of the post-war sedan designs. And in its day, it was a very radical design, because it was the first of the cars where they brought the floorboards down below the frame and made it more like a, they called it a mono belt, like a mono body. And it represented the, the new design, the new post-war design, because after World War II, for the first two years, they were producing really the pre-war design. They closed the Hudson factory at the end of 48, 47 that is, and they came out with this in the beginning of 48. So um, it's a very original car. The color is original, but it's about a 25-year-old respray of the original color. The interior is all original. The upholstery, the headliner, everything there is original to the car and in beautiful shape. And it's a very low mileage car. When I got the car, it was just as beautiful as it now, as it is now, but it was not operational. So I overhauled the engine and pretty much everything connected to the engine. And now it works great. Loves to cruise on the highway, has overdrive, 75 to 80 miles an hour, no problem. And uh, love to take it on long drives. I've driven it 500 miles a day, and I've driven it back and forth to Shelbyville, Indiana, to Wildrick Restorations, which is the United States' greatest Hudson-only restoration shop. I started coming here last year. I was to two of the shows last year, and this is my first time this year. You see everything here. You see things that you don't expect to see, so it's always a lot of fun because someone's collecting a car that you didn't expect, and you see it here, and it's a great thing to see. I take pictures. In fact, someone was, last year came here with the Ford Country Squire station wagon that my dad had when I was a little kid. So I didn't think anybody was collecting that. I took photographs of it and Im Im immediately emailed it to all my siblings. We were pretty surprised to see it as well. So you always see some offbeat things here, some unexpected things here, and it's a lot of fun. How you doing? My name is uh, Matthew Serino. I'm from uh, Bergen County, New Jersey. This is my 73 Pontiac Grand Am. Uh, I believe they made somewhere around 30,000 of these cars. This particular car here has a, a lot of options for the year. Uh, it's got the 455 air conditioning, factory power uh, sunroof, uh, power seats, power door locks, power windows. Pretty much I, I, I'm partial to this year car because my mother had one growing when I was growing up and this is pretty much the car I was uh, scooted around everywhere in. So I'm a big uh, 73 Pontiac fan in general. And uh, in addition to this car, I also have a, a 73 GTO as well. It's an original, solid, you know, rust-free car that was, um, you know, cosmetically redone. The interior is all original in it. Um, the car itself has about 118 on it, and the, uh, the whole drivetrain has been rebuilt in it. But it's a, it's a fun car, it gets a lot of looks, and um, just, uh, just here at the show having a good time with it. My name is Steven Turriano. I live in Monroe, New York. It's a 1970 Chevelle SS Pro Street. Street legal, track legal, drive it anywhere. It's got a nice, he nice heavy duty 454 engine in it with a small nitrous plate and a uh, turbo 400 transmission with a 3200 stall speed converter, 49 inch uh, rear, Curry Third Matter 373s, 31 spline Mosier axles, and uh, complete noses, fiberglass, back half tubbed. Got a nice barrel under the hood, custom paint, and it's uh, one of a kind, custom. Here today, Bear Mountain State Park. I have motorcycles too, to driving the uh, seven legs, and nice people run this show. About 15 years we come. I'm originally from Port Chester, New York. Hi, good evening, my name's Greg McHugh. I'm from Harriman, New York. Uh, I'm the owner of this uh, 1972 Plymouth Roadrunner GTX. It's a 1972. Uh, it's pretty rare in the fact that uh, they did away with the GTX in 72. And the only way you could get a GTX jet designation was by ordering the 440 motor option. I've owned the vehicle for about a year. Found it in California on eBay. 
vehicle. I have a, a duster, 72 duster as well, 340 duster. Okay, Alan Peterson is my name. Uh, I'm from Cornwall, New York. This is a 1969 AMX. Uh, I bought it just a little bit over a year ago, 41,000 miles on the car. And I bought it from the second owner who did most of the work that you see on it. I have done some work. I've replaced the carburetors and got it back into a street-worthy condition, emergency brake cables and, and windshield wipers, things like that. This is only my second time here. You know, I really enjoy it. And uh, I obviously get a lot of positive comments about this car because of the rarity. Uh, there was only 19,000 of these made over a two and a half year period. And if you compare that to uh, a typical Mustang or Chevelle where half a million cars were made each year, you just don't see these. And, and I had one in high school, uh, sold it when I went into college because it wasn't an economical uh, commuter car. And I've regretted it ever since. And uh, I've literally looked for a replacement for 30 some odd years, but finally it's like, you know, I got to do this. Uh, I'm nearing retirement and I'm going to do it. So this is my pre-retirement vehicle. Name is Rick Bennett from Danbury, Connecticut. I own Danbury Auto Body. You're looking at a 1939 Diamond T wrecker that we built. It took seven months to build it. It's got uh, custom wheels, got air ride. It's got a 572 big block Chevy in it, 620 horse. It's got all stainless steel exhaust. Donnie Barker from Creative Designs created those mirrors. And we made our own frame. Uh, Bob Cuneo designed the suspension for it from Oxford, Connecticut. Custom Interior and Audio did the interior in it. It weighs about 3,800 pounds. It's a five-speed Tremec transmission. It has a nine-inch Ford Cup car rear end in it. It's pretty crazy. Right now it's got, uh, I think, 20,400 miles on it. The windshields crank out. It just won the Syracuse uh, award down in New York State. It's got an 18-gallon fuel cell in it. Made all the mud flaps, made a trailer hitch for it that we actually tow a little custom trailer with it that has a 37 Ford Coupe modified on it. That's almost a 900 horse. John Wright from uh, Ohio, from Custom Chromes, did all the chrome work on it. He does a lot of Riddler cars. I'm Frank Nicodemus, and uh, we're here at the uh, annual Bear Mountain Meet on Wednesday nights. Uh, this is my uh, 59 Fleetwood here. It's a uh, three owner, uh, 41,000 mile, pretty much all original car. I actually picked it up off of a guy in uh, Brooklyn. He was a collector. Uh, he owned the car about 25 years. He only put about 1,400 miles on it the whole time. So uh, I was lucky enough to buy the car last year with about 38,000 miles on it. And uh, just over 41,000 now. Um, mostly stock, it's got its original drivetrain, 390 with the hydromatic transmission. And uh, boy, she just floats along, you know, I gotta tell you. She rides like a Cadillac, you know, they say, uh, rides like a Cadillac, this is where it comes from, right here. So, uh, I've been coming to the Bear Mountain Show about five years now. First off, the backdrop, I mean, it's beautiful. It's right here in Bear Mountain, you know. Uh, the, uh, the selection of cars is great. You get anything from new to old, um, exotics, you know, foreign uh, to domestic. So it's really uh, a nice mixed bag. It's a nice relaxed environment. And, uh, you know, when the weather's like this, it's like, what's a better backdrop than this, you know? Really, really top notch here.